Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem. Uh, this is our Foundry VTT series, uh, and we're looking at, we have been looking at some add-ons, um, but we've had a question. Uh, MK, MK Dynasty 727 has asked about uh, when we looked at importing stuff from D&D Beyond, uh, can we do that with homebrew stuff? Uh, I've not done it. So uh, let's find out. <laughs> let's give it a go. Uh, that's the point of these videos, to try things, for, work out what uh, what we can do, what we can't do, what works well, what doesn't. Uh, so uh, you, we haven't seen this map before. It's a Sword Coast map. I've just been extending in the background. You don't need to see me build every single scene for everything, but I've been extending some of my scenes and I wanted to bring in a full high res map. So that's why we're looking at this. Uh, on the right hand side I have opened the compendium for D&D &D Beyond and I've gone to the items tab uh, which is here right in the middle. So just show you this is the normal stuff for items that we have um, in the compendium. So the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to try and import some stuff from D&D uh, Beyond that includes some homebrew items and stuff. So in theory they should end up in this list. Okay, so let's have a quick look at um, at the homebrew collection over here uh, that we've got in D&D Beyond. And there's a few things, a couple of rubbishy things I just chucked together myself. We've got some uh, an item, uh, we've got some spells, we've got a monster in here that's just thrown together just for the purposes of seeing if it works. And also you can see there's some here that are items that other people have put together um, that I've added to my personal compendium to see if they come over. So that's what we're going to see if we can import. So we know our compendium items, um, we've got that list up, those aren't in there at the moment. Um, we can just check that first item is ebony, uh, ebony and ivory. Uh, we don't have that item in there. Okay, so let's go to our game settings. We go to our manage modules and make sure this is the add-on we're looking at, DDB importer. Just make sure we've got that active. It is lovely. Uh, we can save and come out of there. Okay, so uh, how do we import items? So I'm going to go to my items tab at the top right here um, and we have a whole bunch of random stuff that I've been making for other purposes. But what I want under the compendiums is this DDB Muncher tab. So this is what we, if I click this, you might remember this from the previous time we actually did this, uh, and where we can import a whole bunch of different stuff. What I want to look at is this items tab, and we can see on here that there's a couple of options for, do we want to include our homebrew items, uh, and maybe just only the homebrew item. So I'm going to tick both of those. Um, let's click item munch. It looked like it did something. We've got finished importing items there, which is great. Uh, the question is, did it or is it a lie? Now, what we have to remember is we're not looking at the SRD content. We're looking at D&D &D Beyond because that's where we're importing from. So again, if I go to this items tab and bring this up, I've still got my ebony search in. And absolutely, so the items that I had in my homebrew was ebony ivory, which has come in straight away. Um, a penny for your thoughts, which is a spell. Uh, Avid's ring, which is right here. We've got that one as well. Uh, and the rod of ultimate rulership. So if I just type in rod, there's going to be loads of them. Um, and here we go at the bottom, rod of ultimate rulership. So that's really good. That was really, really easy. Since we did the initial uh, the, the DDB uh, imports, it's linked to our account. We can just bring those in. So I've not actually looked at this item, but just clicking on it, we can see we've got our description that's all brought in, the details. Um, so it's a simple melee weapon, magical activation costs. It's got its damage of piercing damage, etc. Um, with no effects on there. So that has absolutely brought that in just as we hoped it would. So the answer to the question is, yeah, we can bring in homebrew, although we've only looked at items. <laughs> so let's go back to the muncher uh, and go to the spells tab. Again, we've got those options for include homebrew or only homebrew. Now the only, well, we've got two spells on there, a penny for your thoughts 
and vanishing teeth so let's see if that will bring those in as well it says it's imported them so let's go again go to our uh, D&D Beyond compendium and go to our spells right at the very top a penny for your thoughts it's brought in all the description it's brought in all those details um, and stuff I haven't didn't actually read what this does um, so it's in there and the other one it should have brought in was vanishing teeth uh, there it is so it's brought this one in as well and it's just a, a, a silly little um, thing I just threw together for this purposes so we can bring in items and we can bring in spells whether they are ones that somebody else has created but we've added to our collection or ones we've created ourselves that seems to work great no problem at all um, so spells items good what about monsters so we've obviously got our monster list here open this up uh, which is empty now we did say that monsters is one of those to pull in all the monsters is one of those things that's locked behind the patreon supporters thing so um, this chap would like you to be a patron um, and obviously, you know, earn a, earn a few pennies for the work that he's done on putting all this together. And in that case, include homebrew, uh, homebrew monsters only. In theory, that should work. I'm not a patron, so I can't do that. But considering the other two bits work perfectly well, there's no reason for me to think that this doesn't. Um, so I think it's happy to say that that, uh, that kind of answers that query. So... Um, MK Dynasty 272, uh, apologies. Uh, the answer to your question is, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, smash it out of the park. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Just a short one. Bye.